I received a letter with a gift from my brother Adam. As a boy, Adam dreamed of becoming a captain with his own ship and a loyal crew. He grew up to live his dream, conquering the sea as the captain of his ship. But today, we finally get to see each other for the first time in years. I can't wait to get to Sunshine Island, where Adam and I will celebrate Neptune Day together. Amber? Huh? Neptune Day is our island's most important holiday. Everyone got. Oh no, my boat! The wind must have run it into the pier. Please ring the bell for the ferry to the island while I get my things out of the water. Oh, is the bell broken? There should be a new one in the chest.
That's it. Thanks for your help, Amber. The ferry is on its way, and not a moment too soon. The celebration will begin any minute. I managed to recover my things from the water, including a gift from Captain Adam. He said it was important, and I should hand it to you personally. What? Oh, what's happening to me? Help! turned into a salt statue? What terrible magic could do this? Is this a magical amulet? It looks like it broke in the crash, but hopefully the second part is nearby. Greetings. I am Lorgana, the Keeper of Legends of Sunshine Island. I've served your brother, Adam, ever since he saved me. Sunshine Island is cursed, but only the town's residents were affected, so you were spared. Everyone else will face the same fate as Rick, if not worse. According to legend, only magic pearls can break the curse. Bring me one, and I will help you. You deserve to know the truth. According to legend, According to tradition, once a year, on this day, the townspeople present offerings to Neptune, the lord of the sea. In return, he calmed the raging sea and blessed the island with a bountiful fishing season. This has gone on for many, many years. Neptune would send his mermaid daughters to the island to collect the offerings until the day that one of them, Erin, did not come home. Erin's sisters hatched a plan to get revenge for her death, and today, they've sprung that plan. A mermaid emerged from the water during the ceremony and accepted the gifts on Neptune's behalf, but she also brought a gift in return. Her song cast a curse on the island. It turned the townspeople into salt statues, and those she blamed for Erin's death became monsters. Unfortunately, my magic isn't strong enough to completely undo the curse, but I have enough magic dust left to help you dispel the curse on the sailor. Please take it. What was that? Where did this magic come from? I, I don't understand. We Our revenge is at hand. The people of Sunshine Island must be punished for their misdeeds. I can't believe a mermaid attacked us. We've lived in peace ever since King Charles and Neptune made their deal. They've always been kind to us. I'll look around to see if anyone is hurt. You'd better head into town. Adam said he'd meet you in the main square. You'll be safer away from the water anyway. Get over here!
only magic pearls can break the curse. Bring me one, and I will help you. Admiral Morgan was famous for his courage, to his own downfall. One day the fishermen found that the fish had vanished from the island shores, so the king gathered his captains for an important voyage. Led by Admiral Morgan, they sailed into the open sea to find Neptune and make a deal with him. They were about to give up and turn back, when they heard a mermaid's beautiful song rise over the waves. Morgan steered the ship toward it, but a sudden storm broke out, and they began to sink. The youngest of Neptune's daughters, Erin, came to their aid just in time, and pulled every sailor safely ashore. Erin became friends with the people of Sunshine Island, and persuaded Neptune to make a deal with them. She promised her father that she would only visit the humans during the ceremony. But one day, Erin broke that promise, and was never seen again. Admiral Morgan was the first victim of the mermaid's curse, as Erin's sisters blamed him for undertaking the voyage that led to her meeting the humans in the first place. Please take it. According to legend, only magic pearls can break the curse. Bring me one, and I will help you. You deserve to... My... my mind is so foggy. I couldn't control myself. Are you Adam's sister? The curse isn't completely gone. But at least I remember the mermaids see- The mermaids really did take what was- 